Hello everybody and welcome back to Keep It Real, episode number 44, 44 episodes and <laughs> we're minus £147, amazing, 44 episodes in and we're still struggling, I don't know, anyway I hope everyone is well, not been around too much for a little while actually, I, I have missed it, I've definitely missed it, I've not even played the game in fact, in fact this is the first time I've loaded up the computer for probably a week and a half so it's good to be back it is good to be back and yeah i do hope everyone is well apologies i've been a bit slack and a bit late with answering replies and things but you know this is what happens when you you nominate for children in life i guess isn't it anyway i think today we're just going to head back to the field and start with some more plowing now I'll just do the usual. I check on everything like we always do. I, I imagine this is doing fine though. So it's got, yeah, it's got a thousand liters of water. It's got plenty of manure and it is, it's still growing. It doesn't look like it's growing, but it is still growing. 229 liters of tomatoes. I'm pretty sure these produce a pallet at 500 liters, don't they? Which is good. That will kickstart our production. So that'll be amazing. Do you need to think about water on that though? Yeah, it's been a while since I've topped up anything with water, especially the apple trees as well. So we probably do need to get on with that, I would have thought. While we're here, there's 8,000, over 8,000 litres of manure again. We may even be able to start selling that at some point. And the slurry, 16,000 litres, just over 16,000 litres. <laughs> I know that the, uh, regardless of where I am, it tells me the food and the slurry and things. I just, I just prefer to kind of walk to the areas. Do you know what I mean? So they've still got some food there visually. What are they actually on? 6,000 litres of food, which is alright. And at some point, one of these cows is due to give birth to our very first calf. Which one is it? This one here. Yeah, so months since last birth, nine. So I think the next episode, when we move forward into February, February 1, we potentially will have an addition. Which is great, which is amazing, but I do have to be a little bit concerned about the food. Yeah, if they've only got 6,000 litres of food, and we don't have any reserves now because I sold it all. Yeah, we're going to come unstuck. We're going to have to, potentially, even this episode, maybe if we have time, the next episode, we're going to have to go back to the pub. We've not been there for a while. We'll just see if there's any contracts, and in particular, a silage contract would be very well timed but I suppose we've got to wait for this white stuff to stop yeah okay we'll do the same again we'll just check on the ducks we have got all of that reserve there as well look so there is plenty of hay it doesn't give so much milk but there is plenty of hay now actually let's just jump into here they haven't produced a single litre of milk hmm that's strange that is strange. I think it's the enhanced animal mod as well, which causes the animals to eat a lot more food and produce kind of a lower amount. So, but I do want to keep it on because that's the mod that gives you all the little babies. So anyway, how are these ones doing? So 656 litres. They do need some food. And I did test it quickly, but you can actually unload from the pallet with a shovel and feed them. So I'd rather do that. I can't be coming here and picking up the pallet every time I want to feed them. So we'll just do that. We'll top them up while we're here. Hopefully. There we go. Now you might find... Well, you won't see the pause because I will just pause it. But if these ducks kind of randomly jump around. Or well, first day off holiday. And the kids are back at school. I now have time to myself, which is amazing. And I feel rough it's typical isn't it so my, vo my voice feels like it's going and yeah just a bit of a cough so yeah if they suddenly jump it's literally because i've just snipped out the bit where i coughed because i wouldn't want to do that you don't want to hear me cough do you all right 1200 liters so that is max yeah that is max i'm sure i lost a bit of grain then all right we'll leave that there ready to top up yeah so i'm glad that works anyway because normally i would do it with a wheelbarrow but 
that wheelbarrow was the mod that was causing that issue with the bales back along. Well, in the in the first kind of 10, 15 episodes, I guess we have that issue. So I'm not doing it. We're leaving it off now. How are they doing? 29 pieces, 29 individual eggs, apparently. So that's good. Now let's go up here real quick. Conscious, I'm just kind of chatting and not doing a lot. Okay, 467 liters. So, th so they're due to produce real soon, which is amazing. But actually, the water, well, the water isn't bad. Yeah, I think when the snow stops, which will hopefully be, wow, maybe this episode. I can see sunshine up there in the in the forecast. We'll jump to the forecast. When the snow stops, we can kind of imitate. Look, we've got water available. I think that's kind of a a fair rule for this one. So what time are we looking at? Potentially, sort of midday, potentially, it's going to be sunshine. Um, but then in February, it is still snowing. So I don't know. We, we might get a bit of sunshine. So we might be able to top up. Top up the trees, top up the greenhouse. Definitely. Now, I feel like, that, let's head this way. We, we need to get into the car. Because in the last episode, I left the tractor in the field and I walked back. So... Yeah, we now need to drive to that field, or call a taxi to get us there, but of course when you're minus £147, you can't really pay for a taxi, so that's no good at all, so we'll, we'll drive there, it's fine, another one of those coffin moments, anyway, right, I was kind of saying it, but I'll say it again, I believe that the tomato juice, the tinned tomato juice that we'll potentially be producing, doesn't require mineral water, it uses natural water, which I, again, I've never used the mod, but I believe you just literally put water in from the stream. So we'll probably, yeah, do, do a couple of loads from that forward, I think. Stick my lights on. Everything's starting to get whiter. I do hope the snow doesn't actually stick on this map but maybe it is going to okay here we are pulling back up at the field now I've not really done much more since the last time you see me do it or maybe I did one row more I have done a tiny bit more but not a great deal but this is going to take a while this is going to take a while I have looked at bigger plows, I'm, I'm sure, in terms of looking at mods, I mean. And there are some bigger ones that don't cost much more. But again, when you're when you're starting an episode and kind of playing an episode where... Oh, I've just realised the time's not even right. Switch that up to times 10. Yeah, when you're, you're minus and you've got no obvious way of making money, the last thing you can be thinking about is different equipment. And this... Hmm. The, the, this is this is not going to do too well, soon, is it? Now let's just activate create fields. <laughs> there we go. I just turned the menu on. Um, yeah. This just literally stalled then as well. I probably just clipped it while I was trying to figure out the right buttons, but uh, I started it before I'd even moved it. It stalled. This is not doing very well at all. Uh, in fact, that that kind of maintenance bar will probably start flashing at some point so we need to drive to the shop and maybe at least find out how much it is to repair it yeah we ain't gonna be able to do it but I need to know how much it is because actually if we're down this tractor if we're missing this tractor for doing this work for doing the finishing the plowing seeding whatever Whatever we decide to seed, I'm still not sure what to do. But seeding as well, essentially, and we need to maximise money, so leasing a roller, potentially. There, there's a lot of big, quite heavy duty work to be done. Without this tractor, I think we'll suffer. We, we, we will definitely suffer. Although the man is reliable, there's no doubt about that. That, that man is a cracking little tractor. Anyway, right. I'll just uh, I'll do a few more rounds of this one. I think if I get to a point where this this agri stalls maybe two more times, maybe I need to consider stopping. So we'll see how far we get. We'll see how far the agri will allow us to go. 
Oh, I'm sorry, I better not get too close to that tree. Because with the harvest there, that would be a bit of a pain. So I have in my downtime, whilst I couldn't do any recording myself, I have managed to, to watch a few videos. I caught up with a little bit of farms in Snowy. Um, and then I've just kind of watched a bit of Dagoin, just because it's, it's easy going kind of viewing, isn't it? It's easy to watch Dagoin. But I've noticed that he's uh, mentioned in this last episode, he's due to start, or he's planning to start, a realistic series. So that'll be interesting. That, that will be interesting to see how it compares. Do you know what? It would be, uh, I'm sure it would be coincidental, but I've, I've just got a funny feeling it might actually be on this map, and that is a pretty big coincidence. If it is, I don't know, I don't know. I just notice, I don't know, maybe it's cryptic, maybe uh, a bit of a conspiracy theory, but I've noticed mention of the Valley of the Old Farm maybe two times from Dagoin recently, and I don't know, just putting two and two together and making 15 I just feel potentially you might be starting a realistic series and it might be on this map I don't know I don't know maybe hey wouldn't that be a good feeling if uh, this series with this quite small channel certainly in comparison to Dagwin managed to, to make some influence on a big channel like that that would be nice wouldn't it if he stumbled across it and, and thought that would be a good idea that would be good but it would be interesting to see just how uh, realistic it is in comparison. No. I just lifted that plow up. What's it doing? Oh no. Oh no. Can I still plow in the snow? Realistically, would you still plow in the snow? Um, I don't know if you would, but it's very, very fine look because even my my tire tracks is still bringing up the field right i'm gonna do do a little bit more oh it, it's not very good though the, this plow isn't actually working the bouncy plow is not working right well i think i think that's gonna decide the job for us isn't it yeah let's just stop that was awful it's missed so much the snow is causing it to bounce a lot. <laughs> right, what we will do now then is just head on over to the store, to the, the actual maintenance garage around the back, and I just want to kind of get a, a quote. How much is this going to cost to give it a full service, to get it back up to, not new, because it definitely ain't new, but as new condition, minus the paintwork. So we'll find out. I believe the snow has just stopped. Now actually while I'm here, you may notice I'll jump out, I'll stop the engine. But you may notice there is a little market appeared. So again, what I always do is I, I look for an area, it's not a field that's owned by me, you can do that's a PC mod, but you can place anything anywhere essentially, but you don't want to be placing stuff on an actual field because when the the seasons change, everything you've done will change back to the way that it was except it will have a random kind of placeable in the middle of it so I always find an area which won't actually change when the map kind of moves through seasons and this place seemed about right and yeah all I've done is I've just placed those two little tents it actually comes with the interactive productions mod so that's the one where we're going to be selling our cans of tomato juice from oh, I keep saying ketchup it's not ketchup cans of tomato juice yeah so that's there, I didn't time lapse that, I didn't record that because I literally just placed it. it, took me about, well, 30 seconds. Anyway, right, let's keep on going. <coughs> I think we're gonna, we're gonna miss out now on getting water from our own kind of header tank outside the house because it looks like this snow's gonna be around for a little while. So what we might do though is probably take the man 
although the man does struggle with a full tanker, but we'll take the man and go to the ford in the river and, and fill up from there. Yeah, maybe we can even head to the new factory and see if it does accept natural water rather than mineral water. I think it might do. Right, now the trigger's here somewhere. Where is the trigger? Where is the trigger? Let's turn them on. I've probably parked over the top of it again. Uh, what am I doing here? Zone marker. I literally have. I couldn't have parked any better. <laughs> Can I still just about get it? Yes. Right, so. Okay, actually, 1,191 to repair it. That's, that's alright, isn't it? I'd, part of me thought that was going to be way, way worse. Way worse. That isn't too bad. And this here, that's worth £1,291. I'm pretty sure. While we're here, I mean, to be honest, I think... Th this is the time of the year, isn't it? If the weather's like this, this is the time of the year where we need to be getting this service booked in. And again... So one of those original rules was if I needed to service something like that, there would be kind of a penalty for it and we would lose that tractor temporarily whilst the work was being done, kind of imitating the fact that it was being done. So this is definitely the time of the year to use it. To use it, to lose it. I can't imagine I'm going to do a great job bowling in the snow. Let's see how much the snow affects it. Okay. Wow. Got four. Managed to flip that one. 180 look. Amazing. Obviously the snow doesn't affect the basketball too much. Anyway, right, let's go into the shop. Because that ploughing is you know, we, we do need to get that ploughing done, albeit we're stuck now. But actually let's turn off those markers again. Yeah, that ploughing is is gonna take quite a long time. Especially now if we do lose those mumps. And yeah, so we actually went for the smallest one. Because that's all the man could, could cope with. I think that was kind of borderline. But actually now we can go for the biggest, can't we? Because the Agri, it's 160 horsepower. I know that, I remember that. But only when it's fully serviced. There's not 160 at the minute. It's probably worse than the man. But once it's repaired, we could potentially... Sow the plough because I believe the plough is ours. Let's check. Yeah, the plough is actually ours. And yeah, buy a new plough or even just lease a bigger one because actually we're not going to need we're not going to need a plough for a little while now, are we? Maybe that's the way to go. Sow the plough, lease a bigger one. Maybe maybe that's our solution right now actually yeah i'm gonna do that i'm actually going to sell the plow back yeah that will force me to have to lease one either way won't it so let's go to here let's go into the plow and we'll sell it good right i mean it's not good it's quite bad actually we now no longer have the tools we need to to physically do any work at all but that's good I'm not going to lease the new plough currently because we can't plough in this weather. Now, that tractor is just going to stay there. Yeah, it'll be alright there, won't it? Let's make it realistic. Let's park it up. In the kind of designated awaiting work area <laughs> there we go it looks so cool it looks so detailed when it's snowing doesn't it look at it really good really good amazing i i really if you've never realized i really love this game it's such a good game what do we reckon fs25 is going to bring i'll tell you what does annoy me a little bit i mean i you know i've run I've got, a, I've got a, a good system. I run the graphics on relatively high, but not maximum. 
just because it, it can't cope with it. E even this this Ryzen 9 processor, I, I forget what the graphics card is now, an RTX, um, I don't know, 3080 or something like that. It is not a bad system and it just, it won't run this at full full power. And that's what annoys me. I'm, I might need to, I might need to invest some money in, in an even better system just to continue playing. Just to kind of stay relevant on YouTube. Why am I walking this way? To stay relevant on YouTube, I think you have to jump straight into the newest version. And if FS25 comes out and I can't play it on this system, then I'm just going to have to get a new one. And I'm thinking I'll do it properly. I'm thinking, you know, like water cooled. Yeah, I need to get a proper setup. Maybe I'll get... I've actually been looking at the new... Um, steering wheel set that you can get as well I can't remember who makes it it might be is it Hori I think it might be yeah well they, they've they've kind of made a, a proper almost designed for farm simulator setup that with maybe two or three monitors I've seen quite a few cool little setups I might have to invest some money but you know we're, we're already talking probably a couple of grand didn't we and as soon as you buy a computer it's like buying a car off the forecourt isn't it as soon as you buy it and walk out the shop there's something newer come out and it's not worth as much money it's just like buying a brand new car so yeah I don't know future proof I thought what I've got now was future proof and it is for 90% of games but the game that that means the most seems to be the hardest going okay right I do like the way that the snow is textured on this map as well and it's pretty good we need to head back to the farm now, I think. I can't remember where I left the man. Oh, this don't start very good in the cold. There we go. Yeah, I can't actually remember where I left the man. I think I think I left it at the main yard. Ooh, this is skiddy. It is actually... Um... Oh dear. It's also put some random collisions on. Yeah, it's actually made the road quite skiddy. I quite like that. I do like that. This thing's bad enough. It's because it's got like bike wheels. Okay, right. Let's find the man. And I think we'll head down very slowly to the, the ford in the river. And we'll get some free water. And we'll head to the newest production. The, the kind of 50-50 business for producing tomato juice. And again, I've, I've come up with 50-50 on that, by the way. Because we obviously didn't buy that production. So... I'm kind of treating it almost like a like a job. Oh, he did not even indicate then, did he? He did not indicate. Yeah, like a job. So we don't own the production, so I can keep a um, hundred percent of the profit that's made because that's not really that's not really how it would work. Uh, and I think any more than fifty percent. Again, the fact that I've not invested the money, you know, forty, fifty grand or whatever it was to do that placeable, I shouldn't really be able to to utilise it fully. I think that would probably make it a bit too easy and take away from that real, that real feel, the keeping it real. I do also, when we have a bit of landscape and I do need to clear those bushes there and probably make that another little entrance just for the car. I won't be able to take any product through there, but yeah, I think that would be cool. I have got a bit of money now, but I'm not doing it. We need this money. Oh, Tokyo drifted around the corner. Oh, and it won't stop. <laughs> it will not even stop. Come on. This thing isn't amazing in the snow. <laughs> oh dear. One thing I noticed as well, actually. I'll, um, I'll park this up and I noticed it when it off camera what what is that is that like a, a wasp nest <laughs> it looks like there's a bloody wasp nest inside of the car hmm it's a bit worrying isn't it right let's turn this off Okay, well it has stopped snowing, but that wouldn't have 
that wouldn't have defrosted our header tank, would it? So let's head to the flowing river. I'm pretty sure the man's here, isn't it? Yeah, there it is. There it is. So I'm hoping this week, so I've got the week off. I'm hoping to, but I don't want I'm not gonna commit, but fingers crossed kind of situation. I'm hoping to to do a little bit of a catch up. So I'm gonna get some normal content. Keep it real. You know, th this is probably the easiest series for me to record. It's not the easiest series to play, as as you know, but it's the easiest series to record because I haven't got to kind of try and think about getting helpers onto this series, uh, and I certainly don't have to put the time in like I do to do a role play. And I've almost, I've got, I've got kind of so used to it now. I guess I've almost recording and, and releasing this raw minus me today editing out the, the little kind of coffin fits that I keep having once in a while but yeah I will um I will probably put something out on the channel and try and get some Alma Missouri's recorded now uh, but with the helpers, that obviously, as you know, that was my whole intention in Edgewater, Saskatchewan. Uh, it never happened due to that update mainly. And then, yeah, I, I've not done it on Alma. I've not actually done an Alma episode for a little while. And it's snowing on that map, just like it is here. Every, everything I do is snowing, and it's driving me mad. But there isn't a great deal you can do. But actually, what I was thinking is that probably the, the last harvest was sorghum. And sorghum obviously leaves quite a lot of, well, stalk, doesn't it? It leaves a lot of leftover when you harvest it. So I figured it would be quite fitting to mulch it. And I'm kind of hoping you can still mulch in the snow. I don't know. If you know, let me know, please. But yeah, I'm thinking, get a helper on, buy a mulcher, and just get on and mulch that field. Again, it's, it's a very, very minute amount of kind of extra yield to, I thought it was 5% but I think maybe it's 2% or 3% yeah it it's, seems hardly worth it which is why really I've never done it but if you haven't got anything else to do you might as well do the little things that maximise certainly something we need to do on this series I'm just going just mention in Edgewater Saskatchewan then again I noticed that um Dagoin started a series on that. I've not actually, I've watched the first episode, but I've not watched any more of that particular episode. Um, just because I, I like the, the YouTubers uh, and those series that start a bit harder. I don't know, is it just me? I, I don't, even, even my own content, I don't like starting with money. You know, Alma Missouri was kind of a an exception to that but actually you could say that's a three part series now that's that's kind of series three of that kind of style of play because the actual money we have on that map initiated from having absolutely zero back in Somerset Farms I think now the the first series or the second series I ever did on YouTube which was I don't know maybe 16 months ago now 17 months ago but yeah so really that that whole series is starting from scratch but yeah i'm not really one to how can i feel there we go i'm not one to kind of start with too much money and yeah i just don't i don't enjoy watching it so much when other people start with a lot of money um and that's the reason why i i've kind of not i put time into watching other content instead but it's really good to see you know these these bigger YouTubes playing on maps which I've already done series on because you just might you might get some people that will find your series as they're watching the big names and think actually this is alright and I've already got 50 episodes of that particular series already done dusted finished yeah so so it's good I might get a little bit more from it I mean even without creating a great deal of stuff now for I mean let's be fair week and a half I reckon week and a half I've still gained maybe maybe just 10 doesn't sound like a lot but 10 subscribers that to me is great I kind of appreciate that 10 subscribers 
That's brilliant. Considering I haven't done anything at all. Oh, I'm driving on the wrong side of the road again, aren't I? Oh dear. Yeah, considering I've done nothing, that, that's great. Just to see it kind of trickle up, slowly trickling up every day is amazing. And yeah, you never know, I might get I might get a bit of interest in that Saskatchewan series again now. Just because some of the bigger names are playing it. So that's cool. Certainly not a bad thing. And that's the, the same theory with uh, if if my predictions are correct and Dagoin does a realistic series on this map, that could very much work to my advantage, couldn't it? Definitely. Just got to hope that those recommended videos at the end of every video once in a while has me. That would be good. Anyway, right. I'll cut to the production for two reasons. It's a long, boring drive and I feel like I need to cut. I'll see you in a moment. Okay, here we are. Fingers crossed. Because if this does accept natural water, then that saves a little bit of money, doesn't it? Someone must be here already. The doors are open. Unless I left them open. I probably did. Now, I don't know. I don't know where this goes. But, I mean, there's no way I can get the trailer in the back. So I'm assuming... Let's go up that ramp. This is where I realised my placement of it wasn't as good as I thought. <laughs> it's fine. It's all good. Can't always have it the way I want it. Will this even fit? Or will the trigger like start here somewhere? Come on. I've got the trailer selected. Hmm. Maybe. Okay. Maybe it isn't natural water it accepts. I don't know. I could have sworn that's what it said. Um, we'll just jump into... Where is it? Oh, wrong menu. That would help, wouldn't it? Oh, it is mineral water. All right. It says it right there. It literally says it there. Where on earth did I get natural water from? Could have saved myself the trip. Okay. All right, mineral water. I believe... We'll look now. We'll, we'll just uh, pretend we're looking at the shop on our phone. In fact, let's have a look at the use, because not all this is the same. I remember all of this. Um... Okay, it says we don't own one, but I'm pretty sure that's literally what we're pulling right now. Anything else in here? Do you know, I've never used that. I'd love to get that. That would be cool. But this isn't the series for that, is it? Not yet, anyway. Yeah, nothing great in there, is there? No, I'm pretty sure... Is it, it's under, like, pallets or big bags or something. And you actually buy the bottles. Um, yeah, so you've got to get... These little crates, plastic boxes, that one there, look, £38 plastic box, and it will hold 1,000 to 1,200 litres. Yeah, I don't know what that means per bottle. What the heck is that? Parmesan cheese, that's a new thing. It did have an update, but cheese pallets, yeah, this wasn't on there before. Okay. Nope. Um, is it big bags? You'd assume not, because it isn't a bag, is it? Maybe it was pallets, but I just didn't go far enough. What What is it under? Is it just miscellaneous in here? Nope. Do need to get on with this at some point, though. Slurry hose. be cool to start using that when we do need it eventually. I hope that is compatible with our cow yard. It looks like it should be, doesn't it? Um... Where on earth do you buy mineral water barrel? It was there all along. I just <laughs> passed it. Right, 500 litres for £19. Yeah, that's pretty good, isn't it? My concern is that might not be liftable. 500 litres of water is a lot, isn't it? It is a lot. I've just set up, in fact, a fish tank for my youngest. It's her birthday soon. And you know the big craze these days is axolotls. All she ever goes on about. They learn about them in school. And they're, they're just going for a phase, aren't they? Axolotls. 
And they are quite cool little things, little alien type things. And do you know what? Before they were even popular, I can remember buying them for like, I don't know, like 10, 15 pound and just sticking them in my, my fish tank, not thinking anything of it. Just looked like a cool little lizard crawling around the bottom. But these days, they're, I don't know, they're, they're a big thing. Like, they're supposedly quite hard to keep, which I don't believe at all. But you get told that they're very difficult to look after. They're no more difficult than any other fish, to be honest. They've just got to stay in cold water. But, yeah, I, I've set up a tank for her. I've not had a fish tank for ages. In fact, she's done amazing because she's helped me finally persuade the missus to let me have a fish tank. So, thank you so much. Because <laughs> I really love fish. But, yeah, that, that's a 100 litre. I've had to reinforce the, the frame on the cabinet that I've put it on. And there's no chance that I can move that fish tank with 100 litres in. If this barrel's got 500 litres in, realistically, you shouldn't be able to pick it up. I'm probably going to hazard a guess that it will allow you to pick it up. But I don't know how I play that. I don't know how I play that. Do I, do I make it a thing where I have to take the man to load it? I mean, is that just too much? I don't know. It's a hard one for me, you know, with realism and not realism, because, yeah, what what's too much and what is just, you know, some, some people will be watching going, if you pick up a 500 litre barrel of water, that's the most unrealistic thing I've ever seen. And then you'd have some people probably saying, you're going to spend so long faffing about trying to pick up a barrel, which you can't even do, there's not even the right equipment in the game to do it that it will become a bit boring and even slower so I don't know it's a hard balance but I'm kind of thinking maybe I can simulate that the shopper put the barrel into the back of the car for me maybe maybe we go with that anyway right that was a completely wasted trip so let's head on to the yard and I think priority is probably probably the apple trees actually and it's been sunny for quite some time now in fact the snow's even melted so I could I could risk it and take the agri hmm and do a bit more plowing obviously we'll have to lease the plow now but then if it breaks down in the field you know I've got two options I can try and tow it I don't know if the man would be capable of towing it because of the you know, massive size difference. Um, yeah. Or, I'd have to pay, I mean, a fine to get it recovered, which I think going back now, again, right back to the beginning, which was a long time ago, I'm pretty sure it's a thousand pound for recovery. Mm, if I use it so much that the engine won't start, recovery might be the only option. It's quite a big risk, you know. I don't have a thousand pound I can just throw away. I don't even have a thousand pound I can spend on getting it serviced. I don't know what to do. Okay, right. Let's turn the engine off. See how low the fuel is on the man now, look. It's got less than a quarter of a tank. Oh dear. Right, 1500. One of these had less than a thousand. That one's low. Okay, let's try and do half and half in the back too. That, that's the plan. Yeah, we're also going to have to get some fuel for this. Oh, I don't know. This this is tough. It is tough. I shouldn't complain. I'll do it to myself. Alright, let's try and get half of it. That's pretty damn close. This is, yeah, nice. <coughs> 2300 litres nearly in that one. Right, let's try and do this without actually damaging our apple tree. And we'll put the rest into this one. Is that going up? Yes, amazing. Right, so next time round, we just got to fill up the front two. But that now secured us, that will keep us going for a little while. I always intended to put a greenhouse here. Yeah, that was my initial plan, but given how big it is, that never would have worked. But maybe when the money is available, we we get a couple more apple trees up here. 
Maybe. Make it into a proper little orchard. Hmm. I think that might be. The, it's quite a lot of money to invest in an apple tree, but they do pay themselves back relatively quickly. It's not too bad. It's not too bad at all. Right. We'll leave this here. Let's just check in again. I'll remind myself of what's going on. So this has got 1,000 litres of water. Probably does need some more water. Okay, right. We'll, we'll do that now. Again, while I'm in the while I'm in the zone and the big jobs I need to get on with, I'm limited. Let's do that. But I am going to say it's been warm enough now to get at least some water out of our defrosted header tank. It's one advantage of it being out in the open. Look, pure sunlight. Let's see if we can turn around. Now this, this particular one does charge us, which is annoying. I didn't want it to, but it's just the way it is. But it hardly charges anything at all anyway. So, running costs. We'll leave that fill up. Yeah. Leave the pump going. Wow. Hmm. We're, we're at a point where... We potentially could be in serious trouble because there's no income now. The grass won't be growing yet, and there's a lot of patches in it where we haven't reseeded. I don't want to lease a seeder until I've got the other field ploughed because we could use it then to do both jobs, just saving some money. And the cows are going to run out of food. Hmm. Yeah, we we could be. At a point where we'll be in serious trouble in a minute. Serious trouble. And that brings me on to talking about, let's find the menu, loan. So we currently have £20,000 of our £50,000 loan left to pay. That's that's really good, by the way. We've, we've done quite well to pay that off. We've not missed payments. It's all good. And then this one we've got just shy of £14,000 to pay off of this one but that was the kind of consolidation loan wasn't it that was to clear the other two loans so yeah that that's that's not too bad at all but if i look at taking another loan and again this is enhanced loan system changes a lot it's gone up too and it keeps going up and i think as as we do more work as we gain more land i think probably Every time we, we do a bit more ploughing on that field, it potentially, you know, it's it's worth more. I don't know if that's how it calculates it, but we can now borrow just under £23,500. That's great. I, I think it was at 17000 before, maybe. So it's just continuously going up. Now, it might treat that factory, that production we've placed as a little bit of that kind of collateral which might have increased it ever so slightly, but that only affected it by about two and a half grand because I did check it. So something is still earning us more money. And I don't know, maybe it's because we sold the plough and we've got more money to show for it. But that that is an option, you know. That is an option. I mean, keeping it real, let's get my mouse on. In real life, if you're in a situation where you know, you're really struggling. Sometimes you have to take out a loan, don't you, to to kind of make something else better. So if I was to take out 23000 and say, I don't know, put it over a three-year loan, we're looking at a monthly repayment of £689. I don't think that's unaffordable. But we are struggling to pay the bills. I mean, I think it's been three episodes in a row where I'm negative. So, I don't know. Can We've got to really think about it. What will borrowing money do to gain us money before the bills are due? And I don't know if it will. I mean, it would be good to have it. It will be good to get, I don't know, buy, buy a bigger plough, for example. But that ain't gonna give, that's not going to earn us any money, is it? Then you've got to think, got to think real now realistically i mean it's great we might go for that loan but that's the kind of loan that we would take out if there's a good field that we see that we want to buy or i just don't know i don't know if here and now that is actually going to make much difference now 
it has filled up, I know it has. I shouldn't leave the engine running, but you have to for it to fill up the tank. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> At this rate, we'll need to take the loan out just to refuel the tractors. Now, this is weird, isn't it? Because the actual water fill point is somewhere really bizarre. Oh, okay. It's working better this time. I'm just going to stick the whole amount in there. Just, just takes away the worry, doesn't it? Takes away the worry. Good. And because all it's had is kind of fresh water, I think what we'll do is we'll leave it here. And hopefully these cows are going to start producing a little bit of milk at some point. Okay, wow. I don't know. What, what did we really do in this episode? A little bit of progress, didn't we? Just a little bit. But we're probably near the time now. And don't forget, I'm just kind of trying to get back into the swing of it, really. So if this is a slightly shorter episode or slightly more boring than normal, just get back into the swing of it. You know, a, a week and a half out of doing this. It's quite a lot going on in your head to remind yourself of exactly what you've got to do. <laughs> It really is, and especially when you're feeling a bit rubbish. Now, let's just check on the food in this menu, because I know it's got kind of a mysterious 500 litres missing. Yeah, right, so there's only actually just over 5,000 litres of silage. Yeah, that's not good. I think we need to hope that February, which is the next episode, is going to bring us some silage contracts. Yeah, I hope so. I do. Isn't it great to look around though? See how much this has changed. This was just kind of a, a derelict, abandoned, full of, well, wasteland, wasn't it? Some random little trees and just a big slope. And now look at it. It's like a fully functioning farmyard. It's nice to step back and look at it once in a while. This series has come quite a way, you know. It really has. Even though, wow. We're going to start, maybe, the fourth episode in a row. We're going to start negative again, because the bills come out tonight. This this next episode is when the big bills are paid. Yeah. I don't know. What can you do? What can we do? Anyway, this has been episode 44. Thank you very much for watching, as always. And again, if it is a bit shorter, or a bit longer, it's only because I'm not, not in the swing of it yet. But I hope it's been enjoyable either way. And maybe keep an eye out if you're up for helping. Maybe Tuesday. I'll guess Tuesday. I might pop a community post up and see if anyone wants to jump into Alma with me. And just give me a hand doing some chores around the American farm. Be good to get a couple more of those done because I do really enjoy that. But anyway, enough talking. Thanks for watching. And until the next episode. Cheers and gone.